Unbounded priority inversion can be solved by using a technique known as priority inheritance. Priority inheritance works by taking the low priority task that had the mutex and elevating its priority while it has hold of the mutex, and then restoring back to low priority when it frees the mutex. Here's a picture to explain it. The setup is the same. We have a low priority task that grabs a mutex. We have a high priority task that wants the mutex but fails to get it because the low already has it. In priority inheritance, what happens is as the high priority task fails to get the mutex, as a side effect, it hoists the priority of the low priority task. So basically the low priority task is inheriting the priority of the high priority task that wants the mutex. It doesn't get hoisted all the way to the highest priority in the system. It just needs to be the same or the same plus one of the high priority task. That means that tasks even higher than the high priority task still get to run. They aren't delayed. But all the tasks below the high priority task have to wait for this mutex to be released, including that pesky medium priority task. The medium priority task wants to run as before, but it's delayed because the low priority task is running the entire time until it releases the mutex. Eventually, the low priority task is done with the mutex and immediately stops running. It gets reverted back down to its normal priority and the high priority task can now grab the mutex it was waiting for and run. And it keeps running even after it releases the mutex because it is higher than the medium priority task. Eventually, when the high priority task is done, the medium priority task gets to run, and then we go back to the low priority task when both of those are done. So again, what's happened here is that when the mutex is grabbed by a low priority task, nothing happens yet. When some higher priority task wants the mutex and is waiting for it, rather than just giving up and waiting, the operating system grabs the low priority task, moves it up to the same priority as the high priority task, to get that mutex released as fast as possible, consistent with that priority. And then as soon as the mutex is released, the low priority task goes back to normal and the high priority task can run. And this basically guarantees that the blocking time caused by priority inversion is limited only to the runtime of the low priority task and no intervening task can cause that unbounded problem we saw in the previous slide.